Hello and welcome to a Dragon PME tutorial. Okay, so some of you have noticed on my desktop the Wii program's uh, image and everyone wanted to see, well not everyone because that would mean me. Anyway, sorry, I went to me on a little world there. Anyway, everyone wanted to see Wii transfer. Well, not, well, just some kind of interaction between the Mac and the Wii. Um, so I'm going to show you. Some of you who have seen Wii tra transfer in the past have probably seen a different icon here uh, because I actually put it on just now to see what I could talk about. Um, and it updated, so this is the newest one um, so far. So. Okay, it's a funny little icon that, isn't it? A little SD card beside a mushroom. I meant, I think it's meant to be like the Mario mushroom, but it's got like the little... No, anyway, right, so what do you do? You boot it up, and first time, you don't have to do anything. Um, it just... Well, there you are. You, you've started. Here's the window here. Um, with some kind of like, are you sure you want to use this or drag and how it uses and how it uses it. I just never read them. Um, okay, so first of all, I'd just like to say that this is not a paid version, it's just a demo. So half the stuff doesn't even work properly. Well, you can see it and I'll, I'll just talk you through it and see what happens. Okay, so we have three options here. Movies, music and pictures and saved games. If you have an SD card, then saved games and movies will be, oh, I press minimize. Um, save games and movies would be uh, good for you but I don't have um, do you know like a USB or a built-in you um, what's it called camera card slot thing do you know where you like put the SD card into this device and then that's actually connected to your computer so your SD, SD card would actually appear on the desktop as a, um, a, a drive actually maybe if I put my camera in and um, that has an SD card in maybe it would pick it up anyway um, try that if you want. I'm, I, I don't have the cables or whatever now, otherwise I would. Anyway, um, so you would plug your SD card into your computer and it would appear as a drive or whatever. And what do you do? You would drag your image, your movie or whatever, like this Dragon PME thing, into this box. And you would see it, on mine it says no SD card found, please choose save as. Um, you wouldn't have to do this, it would automatically convert it to your. Um, <coughs> to your SD card rather than the desktop and you can see the little bar and it's converting, converting, converting and this is actually converting the video into a watchable um, Wii um, format, it's something with good compression, good sound um, it's like kind of value for space if you must um, so the Wii can read it. So for example you've got your beautiful babysitter video that I made uh, if you haven't seen it go and check it out it's it's mint it got us 95% in our uh, course so brag 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 aren't I great <laughs> sorry um, so it would convert the babysitter video into something that you can watch on the Wii um, as you can see it's very good resolution and all that rubbish uh, yeah uh, and that would go straight on your SD card and you would watch that through the um, the photo channel Okay, so save games, you plug in your uh, SD card and be like, wow, there's an SD card in. And it would pop up with like save games that you've transferred to the um, to the SD card. So for example, if you want to swap your friends completed Zelda, for example. Oh, I hate Zelda. Um, don't don't take that personally, I just don't like the game. Um, anyway, so your friends completed Zelda and you haven't, but you want this, that and the other. You, he can put it on an SD card and you can put it in and back back it up uh, put it on your SD card and voila you've got the save game it's kind of a save game backup utility which I haven't fully used yet because I don't have an SD card well I do but it's not I haven't got a SD card device thing in my Mac so the main one I wanted to talk about was music and pictures why because this is a little a clever little tool actually um, it actually puts your music and pictures from iTunes and iPhoto onto um, like a, a kind of like a, a web server but local web server so nobody else but local people on your network can um, access it so as you can see people who know networking this is a local area IP address 192.168.1.3 that is the IP address of my Mac and then colon 9000 for the port number um, so that you would take that and you would type that straight into um, the internet channel do you know, you know the internet channel on your way? Yep, 
right good you would take that and you would type in 192.168.1.3 colon 9000 go on your internet channel on your way and i'll show you what happens um, unfortunately i don't have my well i do have my camera but i'm lazy i'm not going to get my camera out to show you so i'm going to type it into my uh, browser here 192.168.1.3 colon 9000 as you can see i've previously done it just to test that it works i don't want to do a tutorial on something that, that doesn't work now um, and we come to the we transfer this would all happen on UE. I'm just using it in a browser for basics So you can see you've got your music by playlist artist or albums through iTunes and your pictures library last all 12 months uh, Bastard file and all this which are my pictures uh, through iPhoto now I can just minimize this you don't want to close it because then your web server will stop um, That's that's a downside um, Oh, by the way if of course you need this open and pl like running if you want this to work uh so if you are going to pay for it like i haven't um you will get a username and password that allows you to like upload your stuff and you can get like a username and password to listen to your music and see your pictures through the way so you can do that on any way type thing uh, but obviously i haven't paid for it so i don't have that um so yeah this is just a demo i'll show you so for example if we go to the music i can select playlist so i've got my um library me chili peppers me christian songs creed diablo uh, learning japanese sonic music uh and my spoon so for example i'll go to lincoln park and up here it's play all shuffle you've got the there's a line through it that's because it's um, a demo and i apologize uh, for not buying it to show you but you can play it all like uh, like iTunes or shuffle them like iTunes but because this is a demo I'll just have to show you one track at a time so in the end launch iTunes for artwork I don't want to really um, I know for a fact I don't have any artwork anyway so if you did have the artwork it would appear there and if you could see there's a nice little reflection it would look pretty suave but I don't have the artwork sorry and th all the information's here this would be on the Wii and playing through the TV um, yeah, and you can skip just using the Wiimote and pressing A like a click and when you're done pause play or back to listen etc. So I'm just gonna go um, Can you go back? There's no back button, but you could go back anyway back 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 to the pictures so if I'm gonna go to for example the last 12 months uh, yeah, there's a picture here. So there's a big fat demo mode in the middle, emphasizing the fact that I'm too stingy a pair. And it's kind of like a slideshow. It will go through all your images. Um, there's my friend Rachel, <laughs> and you can shuttle through by pressing left and right. It, it reminds me of um, what's that thing called? Um, what's it called? That thing on um, on Mac. Uh, I I web no, I can't remember. Do you know that like backup utility that Mac has? I can't remember what it was. I'm very sorry. But anyway, it's a bit like that, except uh, a little bit cheaper <laughs> in demo mode. So yeah, this is my uh, photos playing, and I I um just playing on on a web browser. That's all I wanted to show you really. Uh, yeah, when you're done, you can quit the program, Apple Q, and voila, it's all all gone. Right, so I hope you learned something new. Uh, nothing interesting, I must say. Nothing too complicated. Uh, but that is a little bit of interaction between your Mac and your Wii. Hope you've learned something new. Please don't shout at me if this was too boring or if you don't have a Wii and I wasted your time. I do apologise. Um, yeah, thank you very much. Have a good day and I'll see you next time.